Beautiful Scorpios, you already know what time it is. It's time for another Scorpio reading. This is going to be the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. Um, I felt very um, compelled to check in on that energy because I am sensing, feeling um, that there's a lot of people lurking in the backgrounds that you might need to uh, keep your head on a swivel for. So um, this reading, as I said, is going to be called the They Pray and Pray in Downfall series. This is just to check in, tap in, tune in to see what evil eyes are lurking, what negativity, jealousy, envy that you might be encountering. So uh, <clears throat> stay tuned for that. Um, I want to welcome anyone who may be new to the channel. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I'm a Clara audience. Uh, so I do incorporate music into my reading. So you may hear music in the background. Uh, those messages from the songs, maybe the title of the song, maybe the um, name of the artist or the album, um, the name of the album may resonate and come through in the reading. Uh, and it tends to blend very beautifully with the messages uh, with the tarot cards. Um, I am also empathic, uh, so I do pick up on the energy quite beautifully as well. Uh, this will be a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign, so check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. This is also timeless, so beloved, when you find yourself clicking on this video was exactly, is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, I would like to go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, ascended masters, Devi, spirit team, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a beautiful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ogun, Baba Obatala, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. You may hear my son in the background. Please try to egg that. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is real stuff. This is real time. I can't make everybody go quiet. You know, it's bad enough. I got them locked off in the room while I do my reading <laughs> without any distractions. But I can't, you know, tell them to be quiet, put a muzzle on them. But um, right now we have Rico Love and the song that's playing is called Fuck You Love. So for some of you Scorpios, maybe you're uh, in this space where you're not even thinking about love. Maybe you're thinking about your, your finances. Uh, maybe you're focused on, you know, your career, rebuilding, rebranding. Um, maybe you're focused on like, you know, new endeavors, like starting a new uh, business. Or maybe you're looking to, you know, grow within your uh, current career, you know. So you could be like building your skill set, your knowledge, um, and just in a very studious energy. So love could be like on the back burner. You're not even really focusing on that at this time. Um, I see here on the bottom of the, the dark grimoire, we have the wheel. So the wheel of fortune, this speaks to destined um, events, something that happened was destined to happen. This was a part of your uh, karmic lesson. This was a part of your, um, your journey, you know, whatever it was that you've learned, whatever it was you've discovered about the self. Um, I feel the wheel is showing that things are beginning to turn around in your favor. So if you felt stuck, if you felt restricted, if you still felt like there was blockages or delays, I feel like things are going to start moving. Wish fulfillment is going to start showering down upon you. Um, we have K solo playing. This is called your mom's in my business. So there is someone who could possibly be feeling like you are there. Um, like you're destined to be in their life. So they feel like you are a counterpart of some sort of divine counterpart, a soulmate, a twin flame. Uh, someone is feeling like their mother could be like very overbearing, very nosy in their business. Maybe they are like a karmic, you know, to this, this person that I'm picking up on. Uh, someone is wanting um, to control the movements, the actions of their child. So with mom, your mom's in my business, I feel like 
someone is this is someone's sentiment so maybe someone feels like someone's mom is blocking them from being able to have a love connection because prior to this song we had fuck you love so maybe somebody feels that their someone's mother is um, interfering with a love connection and so they're just like completely over it so let's take a look and see see this somebody is stuck this is somebody being controlled manipulated you see the psycho so this is somebody who could be literally like doing some sort of binding spells, trying to keep someone trapped. You know, this is someone who's literally doing something. They may have some sort of jar and um, they're burying the jar, but it's making someone feel like literally like confined and stuck. And if you look, this is, you know, someone has their evil eye just watching someone's every move. So it's like this person feels very restricted, very uh, much imprisoned. And with your moms in my business, this is what they're trying to do, trying to keep them. Maybe somebody doesn't want their child to move, to relocate, to exit the home. And with this hanged man, somebody's really struggling with addictions. I feel somebody's finally seeing the light, finally seeing the truth of the matter. Because I see here that this is the hangman. So the hangman is all about, you know, a different perspective. It's all about seeing things from someone else's uh perspective or looking at things from a different vantage point and this is a forced position so the divine will put someone in the sacrificial position um and and force them to look at things re to reassess to analyze i do feel someone was really um struggling with some sort of addictions drinking drugs smoking you know maybe even like sex and maybe they're looking at things like, you know, maybe someone was also interfering with their free will. You know, this could be that as well. So, you know, let's take a look and see what we have here. Yeah, look at that. Somebody is really, really struggling here. This is feeling left out in the cold. But there's also this epiphany that someone is having. It's like they're looking at themselves. Um, you know, yes, they're alone. They f may feel abandoned, but they're also seeing what appears to be like group think. This is like these individuals here are being controlled by this entity. And so it's almost like somebody broke free. It's almost like he was able to, you know, you know, hold the line to some degree and like kind of leave that situation. And now he's able to look from a from an outside perspective on what was really going on. People are being controlled, you know, and I feel like this person here, this is the same person that has the drinks, you know, so maybe when they were under the influence, when they were drinking or when they was under some sort of um, spell, they were, you know, they were feeling suicidal. They were feeling like they was in this dark place in the sunken place and they freed themselves some way. And now they could see, you know, what was really happening behind the scenes. You know, they weren't able to see this because it was like they were caught in some sort of illusion and in a, in a trap. And it was by this, um, you know, it was by these entities. This person also realizes like, you know, they have some sort of love. You know, this is like, you know, someone's really communicating, you know, psychically. You know, you're feeling and picking up on someone's energy. Maybe you could feel that someone's in distress. You know, the five of pentacles is feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, you know, feeling like you don't have enough. But this is also, you know, someone who's also very f much aware of perhaps the love, you know, the love that they have. And I feel like somebody has really started to look at a situation um, with a fresh pair of eyes. And maybe you're the one kind of sending them these downloads. Maybe you're psychically, intuitively, you know, um, blessing someone with some sort of uh, insight, you know, so they can get a like more of a, a, a aerial view. And if you see on the back of her chair, there's like this this eye. So this is like, you know, the all seeing eye. So you're very psychic, as I said, and you could be assisting someone to kind of look at the situation from a different vantage point to use discernment, to use their intuition, to not just go along to get along, but to really allow things to sit in their spirit, to know if it's for them or not. But there is an epiphany of love. I feel like you are also very much in your power, in your bag, showing up in this energy. 
And so we have Melissa Morgan. This is called Do Me Baby. So someone does have intimate thoughts, maybe dreams, you know. And we have the nine of chalices. So they do feel like you are wish fulfillment. This person holds you in their spirit, as I've been saying for the past couple of readings. This person has really uh, come to the epiphany. You see how there's two waterfalls. So this person realizes they have deep love, deep emotion. These are things that have yet to be expressed. And I feel like when they do, it's just going to like pour out just like here. I feel like the masculine struggles with expressing emotions. This person just wants to do you. This person just wants to to be with you. But I do feel like these 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 feelings, these emotions are are very deep. Deeply rooted, deeply seated. They see you as wish fulfillment, you know? They also see that you are, you know, kind of very protective of your energy. You may have kind of like walked away from this person because of the lack of reciprocity. You know, the lack of, you know, being able to connect with them on a level um, that you were hoping, you know. And it could have been because they was flighty in and out, you know, really non-committal, afraid to commit, really enjoying, you know, being single, being able to come and go as they pleased. I feel like this person has seen the light, you know, maybe this person thought that, you know, that that tramp life, that that, you know, whole life was for them. They've turned their back on something, you know, it's almost like they've turned their back on maybe um, a way of life that they were formerly, you know, living. And now they're having some sort of grand epiphany, like they're enjoying their peace, their solitude, they're re, you know, reassessing, as I said, and finding balance within themselves. It was just 1138, so this could be a twin flame soulmate. So let's see who is praying on Scorpio's downfall. Who's praying and praying on Scorpio's downfall and why spirit. I just wanted to pick up on your energy. See where you were at. What's hidden in the energy. Who's praying and praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. I feel somebody desires you for real. Because the Do Me Baby by Melissa Morgan is playing. So we have a Six of Swords. And we have the World card. Somebody is really frustrated because you moved away. Some of you all packed up, moved broke free, changed your numbers, changed your addies, mofos is looking for you, can't find you nowhere. You completed a cycle. You said, I'm done, done, Finn, and you walked away. You focused on healing thyself. And I feel like by you leaving, someone is heartbroken. Someone is now discovering, you know, how much they miss you. This is like somebody mourning someone, the death of something. You know, they're mourning the demise of this relationship. I feel like you've learned so much in this process. You've learned you know, who the snakes were, who the fakes were, who your frenemies were. Like you've learned a lot about a lot of these people that were in your cipher that wasn't really rocking with you. These were people trying to like block you, trying to, you know, prevent you from, see that? These was hidden enemies trying to block you, trying everything they could to stop you from succeeding, from growing, from elevating, from, you know, expanding. You know, and these were people who were trying to do you in is what I'm hearing. They was trying to do you in. But I feel like their secrets were exposed and these people were trying to hide. Look at these people hunting this person down. You know, these people are chasing after this person. But you you broke free. You broke. I feel like you broke free from some sort of illusion. You discovered some sort of truths and you left. You know, that six of swords speaks to you going to find like a safe space, safe haven, creating a sacred space for yourselves. And look at that. Now you are in complete emotional bliss. You know, this is you literally like attracting everything that you are. I feel someone is also going to express to you their feelings, their deep emotions. Somebody's going to really, truly reveal to you how they feel. You know, they've been hiding these feelings. See that with the king of chalices or the knight of chalices, pardon me, and the um, ten of cups. So this is why people are hating because there is a very beautiful, divine and sacred connection. I feel like this is the development of a beautiful love story, to be honest with you. It's almost like, you know, this is the beginning stages, but there's a lot of healing. I feel like there's a lot of reflection also. Someone's reflecting on their past actions. 
reflecting on the way that they came off, on the way that they misbehaved, on the way that they've treated you as well. Because I see this, you know, this four of swords is like someone is literally like reflecting back on the past. They're heartbroken, but they're coming out of it. And I feel like it's almost as if like this is like, uh, how do you call it? It's like um, someone received karma, you know, for what they've done to you. It's almost like they... Who is this? Oh, sorry. It's like that d distracted me. Because <laughs> I was like, who is this? Was, was, she was just like mumbling. But I'm sorry, Tiana. I didn't hear her. <laughs> so this is called Out of My League. So, yeah, somebody may be watching you, observing you, and feels like they're out of your league. Like you have grown so much, especially with that world card. That speaks to, like, you know, spirit, being spiritually in alignment, changing your perspective, growing, evolving. And someone seeing you as someone who has evolved with the Queen of Swords, they could be a little, you know, intimidated because they know that you cut their ass off once and you'll do it again if necessary. This is someone who sees that you are very wise, very in tune and you don't take no shorts like you're not one to sit around and, and shoot the shit when somebody's trying to insult your intelligence. Like you will let a person know what time it is and what time it is. You know, you're not you're done being nice. You know, people don't even know the word nice actually means stupid. If you look up the etymology of the word nice, it is derived from a Latin word, which actually means stupid. And so that's why I go out of my way to try to to learn the meanings of words, because people don't know how we speak spells on each other every day, all day. That's why I refuse to say, like, good morning. I say good day. You know, there's certain words that I don't say. I don't say bless because that's like be less. So I say bliss, you know. Um, it's just, you know, I don't know why I went to that diatribe, but I feel like some of you all, this is like somebody who's um, really fully aware that when they come in, they got to come correct because you're very wise. You know, you're very wise. And I feel like this person is fully aware that, you know, you can see right through them. You know, you don't take too kindly to anybody trying to insult your intelligence and wasting your time, you know. So this person really wants to come in and they want to apologize. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is here. So this is what this person deeply desires. This is what they truly want. You know, they could see, you know, having the whole shebang, that happy house, happy spouse, you know, happily ever after building a, a, a beautiful legacy with you, planting seeds and roots and a nucleus. You know, this is like compromise. This person really feels this, you know, and there's someone lurking in the background, you know, that could be hating on this union. This could be an ex of yours or an ex of this person that truly desires you. I see the knave of uh, chalices again. So this is really someone who really wants to um, embark on this connection. This is like all love. I'm seeing nothing but love from the beginning. Someone has recognized their feelings, their emotions, their deep attraction towards you. And what they see is that you match their fly. And this is like the very beginning of a love story. This is somebody who could be possibly like penning you letters, you know, but not sending them or starting to send text messages and not sending it or dialing your number, but not sending it through. It's like this is like that secret admirer. So let's see. OK, it's enough chiming in. Let's go ahead. Cut the deck. We already how many minutes in 17 minutes in. All right. So let's go ahead. Cut the deck. So the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is what they want to do. They want to collaborate. They want to reconnect. This is somebody who definitely is, you know, wanting to come towards you, wanting to make a move. But they see that you are very busy. You know, you could be very busy, uh, you know, with something creative or artistic that you're honing, that you're working on. It's like you're honing some sort of skill or you're in a very focused very studious energy. And so that could be another reason why, you know, this person may be hesitant to communicate um, because I feel like this person knows that you're busy, but they do see ultimately like your worth and value. Maybe they're watching you uh, in the spotlight because there's like this light shining down in his head. So this is like you, you know, being very self-sufficient, you know, very focused. It's like you kind of like put your energy into your projects, into your creative um, skills and gifts and talents and I feel like you know whatever you do you're very good at I feel like it's like almost like you're co-creating um, with source source is giving you uh, the power source is giving you the download source is giving you um, 
the nudge, you know, that divine guidance to work on your craft, to master your skills, to sharpen your sword so as not to be distracted by the antics and the foolishness that's going on around you. It's like lose yourself in your work, in your in your skill set, in your talents, in your hobbies. The ten, um, uh, the world card is speaking to, you know, the ending of a tough cycle. You know, all of your hard work is eventually uh, going to pay off because there's going to be many blessings and rewards for you completing the cycle. This is like you completing a cycle um, effortlessly, you know, flawlessly. And she's learned great lessons, many lessons. If you look, there's a book on her lap. So this is what you have. You stood alone. We got um, Robert Glasper featuring Common. And this is called I Stand Alone. So many of you, you had to, you know, tough this cycle out all by yourself. You know, we saw that you had a lot of uh, demonic entities and jealousy, envy, frenemies, you know, a bunch of haters and snakes that were literally like preying on your downfall, keeping secrets, trying to plot, scam, scheme you out of your happiness and your joy. And I feel like you outsmarted all of them and slayed the devil. You rebuked that devil and you stayed focused on your craft. You followed the instruction of the divine. You know, the eight of uh, pentacles is literally like, you know, any eight is like literally you uh, just focusing on the healing, you know, focusing on transmuting whatever pain you may have experienced during the cycle. Some of you all was going through this for up to 23 years. Some of you all were going through this with someone, you know, who could have been born on the 23rd, on the 5th, on the 2nd, on the 3rd. Maybe some of you all were born on November, November 2nd, November 3rd, November 5th. But this is done, done, Finn. This is like, you know, you leveling up, you graduating. This is you literally like graduating to a completely different um, level here. So let's see who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Because it's like these people can't understand how you were able to like not only complete that cycle, but also how you were able to like get back on your grind. Like this is someone who has worked very, very hard to achieve what they have. This is someone who didn't get distracted by the antics of other people or the semantics that were being spoken to them. This is like someone who's very focused, eyes on the prize. You know, you realize and knew innately like, yo, a thing will only um, a thing can only distract me if I give it my attention. So let me give my gifts my attention. Let me give my talents my attention and not these distractions. So you have here, look at this, the eight. Now you got the nine. So the more you stayed focused, the more uh, you're uh, able to accomplish. So this nine of pentacles, this is like pre emperor status. And this is what they see how this person is standing alone. See that feminine energy standing alone, walking to this big, beautiful castle. This is what you all are embarking on. This is what you are about to enter into. I stand alone. By you standing alone and slaying the devil, by you standing alone and mastering your crafts, this is why you are coming into abundance. This is why wish fulfillment is here. This is why people are hating on the sideline because it took numerous people to try to take you down and they still didn't take you down. So what does that say about them? What does that say about their weakness? What does that say about their inability to box with God? And not saying you, God, but you are made in God's image, right? So the divine is protecting you because you stayed righteous, just, and stood perpendicular in your square. And this is why they're hating. And so we got big pimp in here. So a lot of these people thought they was, you know, player players from the Himalaya and the player got played. So these were people who was like trying to, like I said, scheme, scam. You out of things, trying to pimp, you know, I'm hearing pimp the system. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why, Divine Spirit? Who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? Thank you, Spirit. That came out with force. And so we have the seven of chalices. They're hating on you because you have a lot of options. You got a lot of wish fulfillment. You know, they feel like you pimping the system right now. Like, what are they doing? What, how, did, how are they able to achieve everything they're able to achieve? with no assistance like what are they doing they feel like you're doing something like um backhanded or under how do you say that underhanded like they feel like you're doing something like you know um unlawfully 
but you ain't. You just got the pick of the litter because the divine is like, okay, choose what you want. Seven of Cups is literally like, you know, it's like wish fulfillment, but you just got to choose wisely. You got to know what you want and you got to stick with that. Give me one moment. Yeah, so when you have options, that gives other people like, you know, they get frustrated by that because it's just like, well, how and why? They start worrying about what you're doing and how you're getting what you're getting, you know? So let's tap into it. And so let's see. See the hangman? So these are people who definitely, uh, they could be like, you know, kind of kicking themselves in the ass because they didn't see your worth and value. And so now they're being forced to look at things from a completely different perspective. And this shit is driving them to drink. This is driving them to like, you know, be in their, whole, their own, you know, it's like they are their own worst enemy almost. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? These were people who are also trying to juggle you, trying to have like, you know, multiple people because we got big pimping playing. And so they thought they had like the pick of the liberty. They had some some of you, you know, maybe some of you all were in like rotation. You know, you found yourselves like in a rotation. You know, they had all these entanglements that you didn't sign up for, you know. So we have the chariot here. So this is you moving forward, like finding balance, you know, restoring balance in your lives. This is you pushing forward, being more assertive, taking your power back. I also feel like they see that, you know, you all are getting these yes answers, like things are just opening up for you. And with the chariot, this is like twin flame. So maybe you are manifesting and calling in like your twin flame, your soulmate. The chariot to me is also like, you know, the twin flame energy because of this dual energy on here. And so I always feel like, you know, the chariot does um, does denote, you know, some level of like a divine, a divine um, interaction here. And we have the wheel. So this is destined. I feel somebody that's destined to be in your life is coming in. And it's almost like, you know, like I said, you, you manifested them. So you kind of like waiting, you know. This is like you waiting, like you, you waiting on this because I feel like you you've been really keeping your eyes on the prize and working. And so you're now like in this space where you're taking a break because all the hard work, you know, it's paying off. And now you're just kind of like waiting for the wish fulfillment to pour in. It's like things are starting to move in your favor. And this is what people are really salty about because now you have the wheel. So it's like things are turning in your favor. Things are opening up for you. The wishes, the blessings, everything that was on pause, on delay because of the hate and ass people that was like trying to block your blessings. And because you was doing your own soul work, it's like now it's pouring in. It's like you it's pouring in. And that's why you just kind of kicking it. <laughs> you just kind of relax. This is like the epitome of chill mode. Like you ain't sweating shit unbothered. Taking a little smoke break, a little smoky smoke. So let's see what we have. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why divine spirit? And so we have Feel So Real by Patrice Russian. Yeah, this is going to feel very real. This love connection this is going to be like the, this is like the beginning of a love story. I could already feel it, see it, sense it. And so we have the death. See that? The death of the old, the beginning of the new. That's your energy, Scorpios. So you've completely closed a cycle, you know, closed a chapter, I should say. It's it's completely done, done, fin, as I said. You done saw the wheel. You done saw the world. Now you're seeing the death. This is your energy. So you have been resurrected in your power. Whatever it was that snuffed you out, it didn't kill you. It made you stronger. You've resurrected and you have risen as the phoenix. And so now this is like a sh an, an energy of power because now you're wiser. Now you know you know what to avoid. Now you know what you like. Now you know what your love language is. This is that energy. And if you see here, there's a bunch of people kind of like, you know, freeing themselves from whatever this was that was trapping them. And so I do feel like, you know, this is you almost like freeing generations of people. It's almost like you broke some sort of generational curse, hex, yoke. And so the door has been left open. It's like you've let people free from whatever yoke, from whatever hex, from whatever spell that they could have been under and so we see here the six of wands so see this this is you outsmarting the demons and the, de the the devils and all of those demonic entities that were trying to influence you you see how he's trying to hand this masculine something and his hands stayed down he never reached to receive it because he knew it was a trick and so what we have playing is feels so real this person is trying to 
you know, uh, convince this person what they're giving them is good for them. You know, so the feel, you know, they want them to feel like this is a real and a genuine offer. But if this person even thinks to accept this, it's like it's going to have them stuck in the trap. They're going to be right back, perhaps back into the sunken place, if you will. So this is about using your own intuition, using discernment, knowing when to reject something and knowing when to accept something. Because remember, I was saying you're going to have like, you know, you have options. And so some of these, you know, frenemies that you done cut off are going to try to come back, revisit, and they're going to try to outsmart you. And you have to just be wise and trust the energy you're feeling. There's nothing about this person that says, I'm here to help. This is a demonic entity and this person sees it. His first eyes open. That's why he's like, I ain't accepting that shit. You can go on and, and take that shit and, and, and stick it up your ass for all I care. I don't want that. No, ma'am. No, sir. And so what we have here is the nine of wands. These are people that you've already like, you've already exhausted all of the chances that you want to give them. Like you done gave them chance after chance after chance. And then they coming back around thinking you still on some boo boo the fool shit. And we got the ace of chalices just underneath that. So, yes, you're going to have some people that's trying to come back acting like they want to fight for your love. Every night I got to prove my love. <laughs> what the hell is that from the five heartbeats? You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who want to convince you <laughs> that they're here for the right reasons. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you done gave them chance after chance. And the only apologies you're accepting is change behavior. You ain't accepting nobody's, you know, handwritten letter. It's like, look, you're going to have to show me. You're going to have to tell me with your actions what you mean. And even still, that doesn't mean you're going to accept them, you know, because I feel like you've exhausted all, you know, kindness. <laughs> all of your kindness has went out the window, especially when it comes to extending it to them to to, you know, give somebody another chance or to to, you know, reconcile a situation. Some of you all are so far beyond. Remember, fuck you. Love was playing in the beginning. So some of you all may be on that fuck you love shit. But there is an opportunity for real love. So you can't be on no fuck you love when you have, you know, a divine masculine or a divine feminine that's coming in to woo you, beloveds, you know, to swoop you off your damn feet. So you're going to have to be open. You're going to have to be receptive because this is the type of love that you pray for, you ask for, you wish for, you hope for. This is the type of love that you claim. And so you're going to have somebody trying to come in and pretend you know, trying to smile and beguile, trying to dupe you, trying to gaslight you, trying to master manipulate you just to get in where they fit in, just to get back in your good graces. And guess what this is going, what's going to happen? You're going to be right back in the cycle that you just completed. You're going to be repeating that shit. It's going to be like part do. <laughs> How do you spell that? D-E-U-X. <laughs> but this is what you've been dealing with. Like you, you, you literally at your wits end. You're like, no. You know, enough is enough. You don't set your guard up, set boundaries. You know, this is you in a fiery wall of protection to protect yourself from all these demonic entities trying to get at you. It's like full way the fuck back from me because I'm doing big things here. And this is what they're trying to do is distract you off your path. So let's see what else we got. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Okay, cha-ching. This is why because all of this focused, you know, focused intention here is going to lead to this. And this is why these folks here are trying to cling on, hold on, grasp on and leech on because they know that you ain't headed for nowhere but success. You know what I'm saying? Abundance, prosperity. So that's why they praying and hating on your downfall because they see you going places. They see all the shit they tried to do to stop you and block you didn't work. So they like shit can't beat them. Better join them. That's what the fuck they talking about. But you got divine downloads about that. You done peeped everything. You knew when this was coming. You knew how it was coming and you knew what you had to do to allow it to come. And you had to stay focused. Like I said, this is like, you know, eyes on the prize, not getting distracted by the people, places and things around you. But just losing yourself in your skill set, your talent, you know, building your wealth of knowledge. You know, this is about glowing and growing, elevating. Look at this. This is how you coming off. You radiating love and light. So you're going to attract a lot of the attention from people. You're going to attract a lot of attention from suitors and those that don't really fuck with you like that. They can pretend very well and not even very well because this is somebody trying to convince you and you just like, yeah, no, 
mm, no thank you, not interested. But you're shining bright. You're getting recognition, you're getting rewarded, you're getting acknowledged. You're receiving your blessings. And you're also receiving love. What did I say? The development of a love story. I felt it. And with this Ace of Cups, you had the Two of Cups, you had the Queen of Cups, you had the, um, the Page of Cups. Now you have this beautiful Ace of Cups and the Love and Happiness card. So you're not only going to be in a beautiful love connection, but you're going to be in a spiritual union. You're going to have a spiritual partnership with someone very special. And I feel like the two of you are just, it's just going to be so natural that it's like almost like one of those connections where it's like the two of you will complete one another's sentences because I feel like you're truly matching with someone that's going to match your fly with someone that's going to speak your love language. You didn't go through all of this shit for nothing. So it's like at the end of this cycle, it's like you're going to be introduced to someone that's literally going to mirror you because whoever the karmic was that you had to learn those karmic lessons from. They mirrored the, the shadow side of you. And this person that you're attracting is going to mirror that, that light side, you know, if that makes sense. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on. And who is praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And right now we have, who do we have? This is called Kendrick Lamar and this is called institutionalized. So you're dealing with somebody who is in institutionalized in the way that they think. So it's almost like, like I said earlier, remember how I was referencing like group think on that five of pentacles card, you know, where it was like all these droves of people were just following those demonic entities orders. And then someone escaped into like a tunnel and they were able to look from the outside or from the inside, from the outside um, into the situation or onto however you want to say that. And they were able to see how these people were just like kind of just like zombies, almost like sheeple. And so that's what I feel like this person, whoever these individuals you are, it's like group thing. These people only fuck with each other because they don't fuck with you. And so they all connect on that note or they only build when it's about gossiping um, about you. They only have conversations, I should say, because that's not building, that's destroying. So they only have conversations and they only open up their mouths to gossip about you. Other than that, these people don't even fuck with each other like that. They don't even like each other like that. Bottom of the deck, what did I say? Breaking generational curses. When you stop focusing on the problem and focus on the solution, this is how you can break a generational curse. Remember that person that was stuck in the glass? And I was like, somebody was doing some sort of spells, some hoodoo, some sort of voodoo, whatever the fuck, binding spells, burying shit in the ground just because they don't got nothing better to do. You know what I'm saying? This, that's, that's the like sociopath. You know, that's like a sociopath. That's like somebody who just can, you know, constantly trying to find fault in others and never able to take accountability for their own actions. So they come off very possessive, obsessive and fucking deranged. And so this is what you was dealing with. You broke those generational curses because you stopped giving them your attention, stopped focusing on them and their antics. And you started to master your craft and you became a co-creator. Like I said, that eight gives me the energy of like the star. So the star is a healer. The star knows to ground themselves, to find emotional balance, mind, body and soul soul and spiritual, you know? And so this is how you break those generational curses and cut those karmic cords. In this energy, this is like, you know, this is a God, you know, the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is creation. And so this person recognized who they are. I'm a God, I'm made in God's image. So I'm gonna create like a God would. And that's how you break those generational curses, not by sitting around sulking, crying, self-loathing and complaining all goddamn day. You got to be proactive with this shit. He's also healing himself in the process of transmuting that pain, you know, into something creative. Everybody always chimes in on how Mary J. Blige, she makes the most dopest albums when she's going through heartbreak or when anybody's going through something painful. It's always just amazing how they turn that pain into something magical or something powerful. And that's exactly what you're doing here. And that's where you're getting all the downloads to begin with from the divine. Like I said, that light shining down on your crown chakra, that's all the new innovative ideas, you know, that's the monumental groundbreaking shit that you coming up with. And this is what's going to bring in that financial freedom. Look at this. You will be the first. I, I didn't even see this card. And look, I was about to say that's what's bringing in the financial freedom, the success. And then you will be the first millionaire in your family is on the bottom of the deck. And it's written. This is a part of your destiny. Remember, the wheel of fortune showed up. This is why these people were like, yo, I can't beat them. 
let me join them. And they're going to try to do so by master manipulating, gaslighting, all the tactics they always turn to. Duping, you know, fooling, gaslighting. But when you are wiser, when you don't have the world card and the death sh card show up, that means you've transformed that from that person you once were into someone who's wiser. You know, you got wise dome now. You're nobody's fool. You're nobody's, you know, you're no boo-boo the fool no more because you, you've learned from the actions, from the mistakes, from the past. And so now we have flowetry say yes. So with this seven of cups and you will be the first millionaire, like I said, this is nothing but wish fulfillment. Some of you all are going to get an offer of a lifetime. You're going to get a job offer. You're going to get a business loan. You're going to get something. And the divine is telling you, say yes. You got flowetry plan. And this will allow your income to continue to flow like you'll have an infinite supply. That's what I'm hearing with the seven of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is like literally that's why I was telling you, like, this is unbothered. Like you're literally taking a smoke break. Like, oh, my God, this is like Wu sawing after going through all of of this, this um, of doing all this work, going through all of this tumultuous, you know, um, experiences. And now you're able to just kind of breathe, exhale. Look at this. You will be the first millionaire. This is written. This is a part of your destiny. This is a part of your story. So let's see who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Why is the seven of chalices here for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you. That card flew over here. It says go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. So look at that. So that's why I was saying, like, choose, use your intuition. You know, don't just make any quick old answer or quick decision. Sit with it. Contemplate, you know, meditate to get it straight. But don't just make any quick decisions. You know, so that's what he's doing here. He's kind of like, you know, kind of sitting under this tree. Trees always denote wisdom, wise dome. They denote uh, strength. They represent pr uh, prosperity, you know, not prosperity, excuse me, protection, even prosperity. We could say that as well. That, that came out for a reason. So maybe the divine dropped that jewel. But this is a very um, powerful place to connect with the self, to ground the self. So that's why the divine is telling you to go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. So take some time to get it right. You know, take some time to go within, to sit with your answers, to figure out what's the best thing. See that? I don't fuck with you. So somebody you don't fuck with could be trying to rush back, could be trying to come back. And they are trying to convince you to say yes. They're trying to convince you to go you know, astray. And I feel like you have somebody else here. See this? Look at this. What did I say? You got some crazy deranged motherfucker this, that, that are like preoccupied with you stalking, watching, you know, some of them are setting up dummy accounts. I would advise, you know, you all, cause this is the download I had uh, before the year was out was to, you know, get rid of any folks that you do not know or recognize. Like if you have not met these people or don't have a clue as to who's following you on your Instagram, your Facebook, whatever it is, delete them. Because a lot of people got some hating ass, jealous ass, fugazi ass people that's like hiding, you know, in plain sight. So I had uh, a couple of people um, reach out to my reach out to me via Instagram. Now, first and foremost, I don't even put any information about my Instagram on any of my platforms. So that would mean somebody done literally did some investigative work, found my Instagram. And this is a popular YouTuber, by the way. <laughs> and I'm not going to say no names because I'm not about to get into no crazy back and forth. But what they did was they did some research, found my Instagram and then proceeded to uh, request my friendship because my Instagram is private always has been and so i accept them so i go back about a week or two after the fact and this person is like they done blocked me <laughs> so i was like oh i could do you one better i'm gonna block your ass on youtube how about that <laughs> don't don't like like people are crazy out here so you got to be mindful of like who you are allowing in your business in your personal life um because i have personal information like on my my social media platforms you know I, ha I think I have like probably one or two photos because I don't do photos of myself on online I'd make sure to delete all of that uh, but I think I may have had one so I don't know what the fuck she was in there snooping around looking for so I'm, I'm telling you all this because this is very necessary to be mindful 
to, you know, do some house cleaning on your social media sites. Nobody gives a damn about the quantity. It's about the quality of folks you have following you. I've deleted a thousand plus people from Instagram and I'm still deleting folks. So I would advise you all to do the same thing. Nowadays, nobody cares about the numbers. I'm, I'm not getting high off dopamine. I don't care about likes. I don't care about all of that crazy shit people be focusing on. I care, I care about the quanti- the quality of the people that are, you know, tuning and tapping in. You know, that's why when people leave stupid comments and I call it stupid because it's just straight up stupid, you're stupid. If you don't, if you don't want to watch the video, turn the video off. I don't need you to leave any type of comment being negative. Like keep it pushing, beloved. I didn't ask you to be here. So I delete those people instantly because that's not what we do here. But um, I feel strongly some of you all need to really, really do some house cleaning because you got some folks that's watching. So somebody you ain't fucking with is still tuning in. But you also have, like I said, somebody really special that's going to be like, damn, where you been all my life? This is that person I said that is going to be the one who can literally like complete your sentences. Like you're going to complete theirs. They're going to complete yours. It's literally like somebody that you truly um you know, manifested. And with this crazy deranged shit, it's like, this is what, (laughs) this is what you have. You know, people become very, very crazy. Um, when you create boundaries, when they don't have access to you and they start like obsessing, you know, they start obsessing over you. So these cards just flew out. So we have be healthy, health is wellness. And this is the chariot. So this is like you, the divine is telling me expound. Okay, so I'll, I'll expound. So the, the chariot is like you moving forward. Make healthy decisions moving forward. Make sure you're the one um, responsible for the decisions or the actions you take. Don't let anybody influence you. You know, it's like let things sit in your spirit. Consult with your higher self, with your spirit team, and then make, make your decision and take action. But don't let anybody come back and talk holes into your fucking ear, into your, like, talk you into circles. So make wise decisions when, you know, before you take action. That's why the divine was telling you go deeper to, to meditate, contemplate, get things straight and then take action. So be healthy in the decisions, you know, that you make. Okay. Um, and next we have you radiate love and light. So that's what you had to go through. You had to go through the darkness. You know, you had to go through the darkness to get to the light. It's like you literally had to, um, you had to, to go through these painful experiences just to learn just how strong you are. You know, this is a very transformative energy to go through excruciating, painful, sudden losses, you know, with people that you was riding for, people that you was holding up, people that you were encouraging, people that you were assisting and helping, people that you were loving, you know, and, and this is what they did. They, they destroyed you. Four, 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 four. But I feel like you can't destroy you know, anything that is, um, you know, because it's like, it's like you're, you're that diamond in the rough, you know, and it's like, you, you don't, you, you can't destroy the diamond. You can only, you know, pressure bust pipes is what I'm trying to say. So it's like what they was trying to do to destroy you. It it didn't kill you. It made you stronger and you can't kill death. (laughs) It's like, cause Scorpios, you are death. So it's like, they can't kill you. You represent death. You are death. But you also represent rebirth, reincarnation, you know, so transformation. So this is what they was trying to do. And now they see the light. It's like, you know, that now they can see clearly like, you know, that they was foolish to ever think that they was able to uh, to destroy you because you've rebuilt so, so much stronger. Look at this financial freedom. This is why they hate him, because everything you know, that is coming in is, is divinely, it's like divinely blissed upon you. It's ordained love and happiness. All these cards. See that? What did I say? You have people backstabbing, plotting, scheming. And this is what this person is doing. They plotting. This is a plot. And they hoping you, you, you on some foo-foo shit or on some, you know, some damn, um, what do you call it? Um, some boo boo the fool shit. Thank you, spirit. They hoping you on boo boo the fool time. But this person clearly is on demon time. They're on demon time and they trying to have you stuck, like I said, in that that trap, in that illusion. See this trust issues. I've been hurt again. This is what you are. Um, you know, this is your sentiment. Like you, you know, not to trust anyway. You know, not to trust anyway, because it's like you're going to go with what you feel in your spirit, in your gut. And when you don't feel something sits right, that's not you're not going to do it. And so you have uh, total, 
and this is called What About Us. See this? What about us? These are the people that was hating, gossiping, talking shit, words of spell, spells, bind. And it says, mind your words and stay protected. So all these people that you, you know, kind of escaped from, found your, you know, took your power back. Because in order for you to move, you know, these, these powerful horses or to be able to, um, to be able to get them to move, to be able to get them to, to follow your, your direction. It's like you have to be in control yourself. You have to be operating and functioning from a, pay, a place of strength and balance first and foremost in order to even be able to get these horses to do anything you, you, you ask it to do. And so with what about us? I feel like these people, you know, you've moved on past them. And so you've left them in the dust, like I said. You done grew, you've evolved. You have nothing left in common with them. And this is what they're saying. They're sitting here salty as hell, having, you know, consul, council meetings. <laughs> they have a freaking team, bu team building meetings on you. You know, team meetings. Like, what about us? Oh, oh sh they, she thinks or he thinks he's better than. Because they see you having all the success and now they feel like, oh, because you have the success, you've changed. And it's like, damn right, I changed. That's the whole point. You ain't supposed to be the same way. <laughs> I hate when people be like, oh, you changed. Of course I did. <laughs> I'm no longer 16. We no longer play in the sandbox. Like, what are you talking about? Of course I changed. And this is what it is. It's like these people are like, you know, ill, speaking ill, gossiping, talking because they have lips, saying anything, you know, to anybody who would listen. And you busy making power moves. You ain't got time. So divine spirit, let's see. Who is um, praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is the chariot card here? Why is the chariot card here? People who is saying all kind of backhanded shit, just gossiping, double talking, and then smiling in your face. Crazy. Let's see what we got. All right. See this? <laughs> Came right back out. That's why. You have success here. And they want to know what about us because, like I said, you, you moving on to bigger and better. You're now evolving. You're growing. Total is singing. What about us? And these people want to know what about us because now you, you back online. Now you back on, on your shit. You're back in queen status, king status. You know, these are the same people, mind you, that left you out in the cold. And abandoned your ass, right? But now they want to know, well, what about us? Because you got some money coming in. Now, because you got blessings. Now things are looking up. Now they want to come back around talking about what about us? Is it crazy. Look at this, the Trinity. What did I say about you all breaking generational curses, hexes? You done freed families, generations of people. And look at this, the Trinity is here. This represents life. And this is why you're being blessed and re um, receiving these uh, wish fulfillments as well, because you didn't just um, heal thyself. I feel like you healed your g generations there after you by breaking the curses and the yokes and the hexes off of yourself. See this? By you breaking those hexes and yokes, you've saved your family. And I feel like you also have, you know, some sort of beautiful love story that's developing because every ending denotes a new beginning. And with the Trinity, this is going to be like your husband, your wife. This Ankh represents life. This is the symbol of life because this round portion represents the womb, which is feminine energy. This portion here, these two points represent the fallopian tubes, which are the children. And this here represents masculine energy, which represents like the phallus. So that's man, woman, and child. And so now you're developing, you know, some sort of beautiful new love connection with somebody because you've learned all the lessons you could about love. You've learned what your love language is. And so we have praise his name. So you're going to be praising the most high for this new love, for this new connection. I feel like this is by um, Barrington Levy, praise his name. So you're going to be praising the most high, not only because um, new love is coming, but I feel because you have like, you've survived. It's like you was destroyed, but you rebuilt on a more solid foundation. And you were able to come away from this, you like smarter, wiser, stronger, you know. So this is like, you know, going through that startling metamorphosis and transforming and evolving from, you know, whatever it was that was designed to kill you or to destroy you or to break you. It's like you, like I said earlier, outsmarted it. And the divine said patience is also a form of action. And that's what you did. 
you was very patient in this process. It wasn't easy. I feel like a lot of you all, you know, with this 13, many of you was going through this for 13 years. You know, maybe some of you all have been healing for the past four. But patience is a form of action. So this just shows, you know, just how diligent you were in healing, you know, because it does require healing after going through, you know, such a painful loss. The death feels literally like a death. Some of you all, there could have been deaths, you know, a death or several deaths in your family in the past couple of years. And it required a lot to heal from all of the loss, you know, from all that pain. I feel a lot of you wasn't even able to mourn because it was just like one after, you know, one traumatic event after another, after another. It was just hard. But you, you stayed the course. And the divine is telling you to praise his name because you didn't do this alone. And many of you know that. I feel like a lot of you really consulted with your spirit team, your ancestors, your angels. You summoned them and called upon them, you know, and you really communicated with them to help you, you know, come out of that that state. And with this, it's like you, you helped heal the family because many of you weren't just praying for yourselves. You was praying for your family, praying for those close to you. All right. So why is um, the six of wands here? Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? So we have witching hours. Look at that. What did I say? I knew this old sneaky ass mofo was up to no good. This mofo is trying to convince you that they cool in the game, but the divine is telling you to praise his name. And, 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 and when you find yourselves waking up, you know, between the hours of like 12 and 5, even though this says 3 to 5, because that's really when they be active. But any time between 12 and 5, like if you are early bird and you waking up at 12, 50, 1 o'clock, you know, it's possi possibly because somebody is, like I said, you know, manipulating your energy, trying to box you in. So p be mindful to, you know, take frequent spiritual baths. Be mindful not to accept Anything from anyone, jewelry, food, drink, anything. You know what I'm saying? And it's about to be 5555, five, 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 so that's confirmation for you all. These are people that you've already cut off. These people are salty because remember we had What About Us? So they see you as very successful. They see you as really stable right now. And they feel like you done turned your back. You've changed. And it's like, of course I did. You know, and now they're like trying to reel you back into the trap. You know, this person is trying to reel you back into some sort of entrapment with this witch and hours. This is them like staying, you know, up trying to do some sort of spell work or some sort of ritual work to keep you bound. And we have you will be the first millionaire in your family. So the divine is saying, regardless of whatever the fuck they doing, just know this is what I got in store for you, Scorpios. And that's why the divine is telling you to be mindful, to, you know, create a safe space, take, you know, um, take those spiritual baths, clean your homes, declutter. You know, clean out your fake ass friends list. I know a lot of y'all probably got people in there you don't even know. Get rid of them because you don't know who they are and you don't know what they're doing. A lot of people are being spied on, especially Scorpios are being spied on. This is the energy I've been picking up for the past six months. Just people watching and lurking and scheming. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Get a life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all have social media platforms or some sort of platform that's just open to the public. And this is how they're able to come in and watch and observe and study and bite, bite your style, bite your lingo, bite your vision, bite whatever it is you're creating here. You know, they're watching you and studying you and watching what you're doing, how you're doing it. And then they're going to the drawing board and they're trying to duplicate whatever it is you're doing. And they hate what they can't duplicate because what you're doing is it's God given. It's a gift the most high has blessed you with. This is like something that, you know, the divine, your, this is your, your divine purpose. This ain't no hobby for some of y'all that started out as that. And then you realize like you have an actual gift, but you, there's no denying this. This is what they hating on because you will be the first million. It is written. And when it says it is written, that means this is written in stone. Like this is what, look, oh my God. Ace of Pentacles, stop playing. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups made a debut. You got financial freedom here. This is what they're hating on. The fact that you got more money, more money, more money, and love. Stop. <laughs> I told you the people are going to be salty with you, Scorpio. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? How are you going to be financially free and emotionally fulfilled? Like, that is just beautiful. 
and we have um and praise his name that's what y'all gonna be doing this person that's coming in they ain't coming in for uh just to play they coming in for a long time they may have taken some time to come to you because what they have in store oh baby the end result is like marriage building a legacy like it's all those things that you have asked for all those things you've been writing down look at it and it's gonna have you so overjoyed you're gonna be praising his name just like barrington levy is singing this is what you're going to be doing, throwing your hands up in like almost disbelief because it's just like everything that you've asked for. It's here. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. This is like illumination, clarity. This is you. See that? Look, this is your energy, Scorpio. You have transformed. You've changed. Now you can see the forest from the trees. All the shit that was, you know, able to dupe you in the past. You, you're not getting got no more like that. It's like you've learned the lessons. You've learned to never give anyone the benefit of the doubt, you know, to not share your information, to not try to save everybody. You are manifesting somebody that is going to take care of you. They're looking right at you. They notice the change, the transformation. And look at this smile. It's like this person is smitten, you know, this person is smitten by the Scorpio. Look at that divine feminine, nurturing, loving, caring. A master manifester, birthing new ideas, creativity, skills, talents. This is your energy. Some of you all can become pregnant, so you better be careful. But this is you. You've transformed into the divine feminine. You went through that cycle. Death card done showed up twice. You was very patient in this process. You went through the, the destruction, through the tower. You know, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And you, this was necessary. There was information that you wasn't privy to. And that's why you had to learn. And even though it was painful to learn that some of the people you was trusting, some of the people you was even cohabitating with was not to be trusted. And you was giving them the benefit of the doubt. We have arrested development. So a lot of you all, you couldn't make any progress. You, your money was constantly like in arrears. Like you was never like able to make forward movements when you was in a relationship. It was like it was definitely like uh, hindering you. It was almost like you was in a spirit of lack or that scarcity mindset. Somebody was affecting your finances, fine, affecting the flow. And it's because this was somebody who was literally like functioning and operating from a low vibration. You know, they was very much demonic and you had to cut that ass off. You see the dagger? So that's what you did. You took that dagger and you cut that shit off, cut yourself free from the karmic cords and broke yourself free from the generational curses and ultimately from anything that was trying to bind you because you realized your power see that i can't make this shit up you turned into the magi i magi nation and you also picked up on the fact that somebody was trying to control you and manipulate your energy manipulate your mind gaslighting telling stories fibs embellishing pathological liars users gossipers people just like doing the most but you was able to see you couldn't see initially but you took your power back, you stood in your power, and you cut that ass off. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. My nose is itching and tingling like crazy, so spirit is here. So this is your message, bottom of the deck. See that? Six of swords. What did I say? You moved away and got busy. This is what you did. You moved away from all the toxicity, created space and boundaries. You know what I'm saying? This is you creating that safe space. Getting into a safe haven, creating a sacred space so that you can create because you knew the divinity of the divine feminine and, cre and divine masculine was creation. And in doing so, you broke free because you broke yourself free from that which was binding you and trying to keep you stuck. So you moved your ass away as necessary. And it's because you discovered there was a lot of lies and trickery and secrets. And so whoever was trying to, you know keep you stuck because that's what arrested development is is like you can't move you are not creative you can't make any um you're not making any progress there's no growth and then finally things opened up the moment you did move that's when you was able to see everything very clearly and you saw that someone was blocking you you discovered all the secrets all the lies and this is somebody that had you like really like weighed down, like they weighed heavy on your spirit because I feel like you love them. You thought this person was like your your twin or they could have very well been just been like a soulmate. But they came into your life to teach you, um, you know, for you to always uh, trust your inner gumption, to trust your own 
intuition, to use discernment, to never give anyone the benefit of the doubt. If something doesn't feel right, then it isn't. And so I feel like when you started to take those deep dives, like the card is uh, insinuating here or instructing here, that's when you started to discover the truths, the lie, you know, discover the secrets that were being told to you. That's when you was able to, you know, really, you know, make that um, that change. So let's see why, who's praying and hating on Scorpio. Wow, that was crazy how that flipped. Look at this. See this? What did I say? Wish fulfillment. You got wish fulfillment coming in because you discovered it. You moved away. See that? It says go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. And that's exactly what you did. You took the time out right under this tree. You mastered your craft. You started to like contemplate, meditate, and you're going to go towards this new beginning. And the divine is opening up some sort of financial opportunity for you. This is like you getting blissed with some new opportunity. This is receiving something tangible. This could be the keys to a new house, a business loan, a new uh, promotion, pay increase, bonus. This could be unexpected money. This is just like a blessing. You know, this is something coming in. You ain't even going to believe it because like I said, with all these, this is like, you know, wishes, you know, and you just choose the right one, choose the right option for you because it's like, you know, you, you can't deny what this is. This is somebody who's also could be coming in with some sort of like, um, proposal and engagement, you know, maybe an engagement ring and it's four, four, four on the clock. So that's, that's um, right in exact right there. See that? 444. Four, four. So somebody is definitely um, your twin flame and your angels are blessing you with some sort of um, wish fulfillment here. And the divine wants you to make the right decision. And so there's a decision that you're going to have to make. But the divine is telling you that this, this is coming straight from the divine. See that? You've created a boundary and, and, and you've you know, protected your peace. You know, this is you not allowing anyone to disturb your groove, your peace. You've created that sacred space, that safe space. And if you look, the solar plexus is like glowing. It's illuminated. So that just speaks to the strength that you've been able to muster up. And that's what I was saying. You you have to be not only strong, but balanced. And that's how you're doing that. You know, you're able to find and recapture that balance by going within and not allowing everybody to demand your time, your energy. And that's how you're able to accomplish, you know, what you are. You know, you're able to obtain this success and this uh, blessing because you didn't allow all of these distractions to interfere with your energy and with your 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 uh, peace of mind. So why is this chariot and the financial freedom card here? See that the queen of wands. This is what you're doing. I manifest. You know, you realize that you are the magi. And so you're creating. This is you following your passions. Some of you discovered your magical beings, that you have the ability to create certain potions and elixirs. Some of you could be handcrafting candles, intentional candles, doing magic to manifest some sort of new beginning, some new opportunity. Maybe you're doing an abundance or manifestation ritual. But it's like you took the power in your hand. Maybe you're manifesting someone or something in particular. But this is a position of power. This is like, you know, um, someone very passionate and very attractive also. Some of you may have a black cat. I feel like whatever this is that you're creating, it's going to be very successful. And we have coffee playing. And this is called W. So W, I'm, I'm hearing win. So you're going to get the W, you know, it's obvious you have the W already because the chariot, like I said, is like, yes, this is like, you know, forward movement. So if you was waiting for something, you know, to, to, to come into fruition, it's like it's here, baby. You know, you can see that she is like, you know, the one that's uh, setting intention and creating, you know, this is her manifesting something in real time. So you 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 get in the W. There's a win here for you. There is a win. And so we have the Ace of Cups. I can't make this shit up. You're manifesting love. You're manifesting somebody that's going to speak your love language. And with this wand, she's holding this wand. So it's like you want someone that's going to. Um, <laughs> damn, I don't want to say that, but I, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> but this Ace of Cups, 
beautiful. That's why the divine is saying, look, patience is a form of action. I'm also hearing good things take time to create. So you had to complete a cycle. You had to end the cycle and you had to heal. And in order for you to now receive the love, you're going to match. Somebody's going to come in to, that's going to match your vibration and your energy. That's why it's always important to heal thyself because you don't want to attract somebody that is still broken, damaged goods. Like you want somebody that's going to be, you know, emotionally intelligent. Like you don't want to attract somebody. See this? Patience is a form of action. The divine is telling you to take a leap of faith, surrender. I'm hearing the word surrender because there's going to be some new opportunity. Maybe this is someone from your past wanting to resurrect. This connection is what I'm hearing also. And so we have um, Nas and this is called one love. So this is somebody that you could feel is like your one and only love. You know, this could be somebody that you feel, you know, could be the one that got away or the one. Because this is called one love. And look at this. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. All right. You got the six of cups on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody that has never forgotten about you. They may have like fond memories of you thinking about the past, you know, thinking about when you all was younger. You know, this is somebody that, um, you know, would be very loyal to you. You know, this is someone loyal. This is someone who's, you know, very in tune and in touch with their emotions. So this is someone that you have manifested that will be like emotionally intelligent, attentive, affectionate, caring, kind. And with the six of cups, this person has a lot of love. They have an affinity and attraction. They feel a chemistry. That's why they want to, you know, they want to come back. Maybe they was a fool in the past and they caused the demise of this relationship because this is the death. So this is someone that really um, destroyed something really good. You know, kind of like sabotaged in some strange way. And the divine was telling you, like, just be patient. Maybe because this person had to go through their own dark night of the soul journey. But this is a sacred union. I see sacred geometry here. So I feel like this is a sacred union. Or well, this can be. This is the six of cups. So they do desire you. So let's see. Who, um, why is the six of wands, witching's hours here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And then we're going to wrap it up. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is the six of wands and witching hours here? Thank you. So I got two messages. See this? This is the ten of wands. So this is that person that did not reciprocate, did not give anything to the connection. And then we have the Knight of Cups. See that? So you may have two people, but this is somebody who's trying to, you know, trying to conjure up some shit to get you to come back to return. They could be using emotional manipulation. They could even, like I said, see how this person is handing someone like it looks almost like a letter. And I was like, they want you to accept this letter, this apology. And then you see here he has like a letter down there. So this is somebody who, you know, really fucked up in the past. But this is someone who could be like under watch. Maybe they're under surveillance. You know, maybe somebody is like putting some sort of spell work on them. Either way, I see the Ten of Wands. So this is something that really burdened you. This is that same energy here, you know, where you gave them chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity. And, you know, now they want to come back. But you have to be mindful not to be duped because this person knows that you're very emotional. You're an emotional being. So they may try to play on your emotions just to get in. This person knows that you have love coming in because they're stalking you, watching you, and they're staying in tune. You know, they're, they're studying, studying you. So this person is aware that love is coming in, that you have like a new love story that's developing. And with this Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this person could be trying to interfere and block this new love connection because the ace is like a brand new start. Somebody else is, you know, kind of trying to just like they coming in on some night shit. So, yeah, they're going to be chivalrous. They'll buy you some some flowers. But it's like they not even coming in on some divine masculine shit. They still coming in on this like, you know. Just like, you know, to me, it's still child's play. If you coming in as a page or a knight. You ain't you're not ready for the divine feminine that showed up that made the debut. And that's the energy you're in. That's not even the energy that's that's matching the queen of wands. So it's almost like this person is not emotionally intelligent and they're trying to use emotional manipulation. This is the person that caused a lot of damage and they could be doing some sort of love spells or some, something to keep you bound and stuck to them. 
And I feel like you have a love with one love. There's only one person you could choose. That's why the divine is telling you to go deeper because you're going to have a choice. You're going to have options. So you got to choose wisely because one person is going to offer you something real and tangible, something that you can grow, something that will, you know, you both will invest. And as you can see, there's like roots, you know, at the bottom of this coin. So this is like, you know, planting roots and seeds building a nucleus with somebody that's what this person's interested in whereas this person could just be passing through you know a knight is always like they rush in and they're real chivalrous in the beginning and then it sh the shit fizzles out and then you next thing you know you right back where you just left off where you feeling like you you know was duped played for boo boo the fool let's get one more message so my spirit see that what did i say this person's trying to confuse your ass have you s confused this is the two of swords so you have to choose wisely. You got to choose wisely. There's only one right answer here. This person is trying to confuse you. You got to use a head over heart. And we have the three of pentacles. Somebody was entangled in some sort of love triangle. And they're going to have you stuck in that love triangle if you even entertain them. Because I feel like this person is a player. This is a playboy. Look at him. This is playboy energy. This ain't no divine masculine. There's somebody coming in, you know. Want to be chivalrous and charming, but how long does it last is the question. And all they're doing is causing confusion. And you're going to have to use your intuition and your discernment. You got a lot of, a lot of um, downloads. You know, your ancestors are screaming at you. Like, don't bite the bait. Like, don't even fall for the okie doke. And we got the three of pentacles here. So I do feel like there is something really beautiful that could develop with someone where the two of you will, you know, be able to build a con um a relationship called collaborate together um, where there will be compromise and there will be invested. You know, I do feel that as well. I feel you also could have met somebody at your place of employment. And we have um, the three of pentacles temperance. So that's showing divine timing is of the essence. And then the six of um, the six, the lovers is there. So this is like synergy. This is that energy of like uh, where we saw um, where have you been all my life? You know, remember that card was there. But I do feel like um, also this three of pentacles is showing three people. So there could be a third party um, entanglement here. That's why the divine is telling you to uh, go deeper, to be patient, to trust what you're feeling. Because I feel like, you know, divine timing, don't try to rush your decision. Sit with it for a while. And we have. Um, uh, what is this? This is Nas. And this is called cop shot the kid. So I do feel like somebody is going to try to come in and shoot their shot. And you just got to use discernment with the death card. I do feel like, you know, this is really, truly testing your. Um, it's like testing your your intuition. This is a test is what I'm, I'm picking up. And on one hand, you'll be in this beautiful divine counterpart, this beautiful spiritual union. And on the other hand, you'll be in a love triangle. That's what I'm picking up. And with this temperance, this is what's going to be the deciding factor. Are you just going to rush and jump into some shit? Because remember, you had patience here also. It's a form of action. And look how the death card is there along with the fool. So it's almost like somebody is trying to return that has yet to rectify the wrongdoing they did in the past, yet trying to convince you that they want this second chance. And yeah, they'll whine and dine you for a minute. And that shit will be cute for the first week. Second week, y'all will be going through the same problems y'all was going through, which caused the demise of the relationship in the first place. So be mindful because you do have something beautiful that's, you know, really in the development status right now. Like there's a beautiful love story that could develop from this, but you have to be mindful not to give somebody another chance when they already, you know, exhausted all of them. Like they had your ass handling all of the responsibilities. That's not a man. That's not a woman. That's a child because they want you to take care of them. This feminine energy having to handle all of the load because they were dealing with some stubborn bullheaded ass. You know, it took all of that for them to finally say enough is enough. 
And that's pressure. So it's like you got to be mindful. You already went through the transformation. You already saw what you needed to see. You had the world card, the wheel card. Beautiful things are coming in. People are st- are keeping note. Like they're, they're keeping track of what you got going on. That's why you got to be mindful of who you allow back in. If they go on for a reason, if you cut their ass off for a reason, then stick to the reason why you cut them off because they haven't changed. They still on their same young shit. They still doing the same childish shit they was doing prior to you cutting them off. So you got to make that decision to choose your friends, you know, wisely. Choose your movements and your action. Choose who's going to be in your life. You know, be be more um, be more mindful, you know, of who you allow in your circles and who you allow back into your life because. Some of these folks, not even some, um, everybody I saw, literally, they feel entitled. Um, they're obsessive. They're deranged. We already said saw deranged. These mofos had you trapped in her curses and hexes and trying to keep you stuck and bound and stagnant. So just be mindful. All right. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonate. If they found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification um, so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. Until next time. I'll